briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a 1984 legal case, Thompson and Green Machinery Company v. Music City Lumber Company, the Tennessee Court of Appeals examined whether an individual could be held liable for acting as a corporation before filing a charter. The dispute centered around Joseph E. Walker, president of Music City Sawmill Company, Inc. and Music City Lumber Company, Inc., who had purchased a wheel loader from Thompson and Green Machinery Company, Inc., on behalf of Sawmill in January 1982. However, it was later discovered that Sawmill was not incorporated until a day after the sale. As a result, Thompson and Green filed a suit against Sawmill, Lumber, and later Walker himself to recover the unpaid balance on the promissory note. Walker argued that Thompson and Green should be stopped from denying Sawmill's corporate existence since they had dealt with Sawmill as a corporation and did not intend to bind Walker personally on the note. The court had to decide whether the doctrines of de facto corporation and corporation by estoppel were still valid in Tennessee after the enactment of the General Corporations Act. Ultimately, the court ruled in favor of the plaintiff, Thompson and Green, holding Walker personally liable for the unpaid promissory note. The court ordered Walker to pay $17,925.81, along with interest, attorney's fees, and case costs as stated in the note. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.